Now let's look at a question on flywheels. The question says, the flywheel of a steam engine has the radius of gyration of 1 meters and a mass of 2500 kgs. The starting torque of the steam engine is 1500 newton meter and may be assumed constant. So that's the mean torque. Okay. Determine the angular acceleration of the flywheel and the kinetic energy of the flywheel after 10 seconds from the start. So, the data is that your radius of gyration is 1 meter, the mass is 2500 kg, the torque is 1500 Newton meter. This makes the moment of inertia as mk square which is 2500 into 1 square which is 2500 kg meter squared. Okay. Now, we know that torque is equal to I alpha, where alpha is the angular acceleration. So, from this expression, I can find out alpha. So, this would be 1500 is equal to 2500 into alpha. So, alpha would be 15 by 25, which is 0.6 radians per second square. So, that is the angular acceleration of the flywheel. Now, the kinetic energy of the flywheel after 10 seconds from the start. Now, you have your acceleration. Let us say the initial velocity is 0, the starting velocity. Okay. So, after 10 seconds, the velocity becomes omega 2 and that is omega plus alpha t. So, this is analogous to v is equal to u plus a t. Okay. So, from here I can find out omega 2 which is 0 plus 0 0.6 into 10 and you get omega 2 as 6 radians per second. With the help of this and this I can find out the kinetic energy after 10 seconds because that is the velocity after 10 seconds. So, kinetic energy becomes 1 by 2 into i into omega 2 squared. Okay. This would become 1 by 2 into 2500 yeah, into 36. So, this would give you 45,000 newton, newton meter or 45 kilo newton meter. That is the part B of the question and this is part A of the question. Again a very simple question, straightforward formula application. Just remember the basic formulas for flywheel. After question number 1 on flywheels, now let us move on to question number 2 on flywheels.